What's going on? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add panning to your Unreal Engine 4 or Unreal Engine 5 project. This feature is useful for puzzle games or any other games where you need to pan around an area. No shit, Sherlock. We used this technique in one of our previous builds where we made a Skyrim GeoGuessr. In this build, we also implemented a boundary feature. So at the end, I'll show you how to do that quickly as well. First things first, you should open up a new project and call it whatever you want. For this video, we're going to use the puzzle blueprint because it comes with a first person camera that is facing towards the ground, which is the orientation we're going for. Next, we're going to navigate into puzzle BP, and then we're going to go into its blueprints. In here, we should look for the puzzle player character and select it. Now we can delete everything connected to the event tick for the player character as we do not need its default functionality. first thing I'm going to add is a right mouse button event. Basically when we click the right mouse button we want to be able to pan around so we will start here. Now we can add a boolean variable and we'll call it is panning. When the right mouse button is pressed we want to be able to set this variable to 1 and when it's not pressed we want to set this variable to 0. So now that we can tell if the right mouse button is pressed or not we need to know where the camera is in order to move it. We will create two floats to keep track of this and call them initial X and initial Y and set both of them each time the right mouse button is pressed. Right now these variables are empty so we need actual location values for this to work. To get these X and Y values we will connect the player controller to the mouse position and then connect these values to our X and Y. Now let's add a sequence and then check to see if we're panning or not. If we are panning, we will use this add actor world offset node. Secondly, in the sequence, we will add another variable. This one is going to be a vector. We will call it cam lock for camera location. Next, we need actual data for this, so we're going to search get world location and choose one that is connected to the first person camera. Now we can subtract our initial location from our current location. This step is kind of weird because I ended up having to subtract the initial X from the current X and then subtracting the current Y from the initial Y to get everything to work. Not sure how this even works, but it works, so we're just going to go with it. I also added some multiply nodes and a speed variable so I can control how fast the camera pans around. This step is optional. Now for whatever the hell reason we plug the X into the Y and the Y into the X. I'm not trolling, this is actually what works so uh, just don't ask me why this works. Uh, I honestly have no damn clue. Lastly, let's delete this camera and add a player's starting position. Everything should work at this point and you're good to go. If anyone was still curious, an easy way to add a boundary is by using meshes. Just stretch these guys out and put them where you want them. Next, go back into your blueprint editor and click the sweep checkbox on the add actor world offset node. Boom, now you have easy boundaries. Okay, I hope that helped you out. If it did, leave a like and check out our other videos. Thanks and peace out.